So, it's harvest time. You've got fruit on the vine, but not quite enough to fire up the canning gear. So what do you do? Stay tuned and we're gonna give you some tips, tricks, and ideas on just what to do with those fruit until you get a full harvest. So today we harvested a few items from the garden. But as you can see, it's not quite enough to fire up the canning gear and start breaking out the ball uh, jars and all of the other good stuff that we use to store our food. So tip number one that I'm going to share with you is go ahead and eat it. <laughs> eat it fresh. I mean, there's nothing like a fresh grown tomato on a sandwich, eating alone, on a, on a salad. So that's the first thing that comes to mind whenever we go out and we harvest and there's not quite enough to make a meal or do anything with. Tip number two, go ahead and put it in a smoothie if you drink smoothies and that way, you know, you're not wasting anything you're not allowing the fruit to go bad like this one because i was trying to wait and share a video with you guys on what to do it started to turn a little brown on me but everything else is pretty fresh but that was one i got the other day and i thought about huh most people probably don't know what to do with their fruit whenever they're getting them sporadically. So what we do, sometimes it may be something that we're cooking that day, we just go ahead and throw it in the pot. But the second tip is smoothies. You could always throw something in a smoothie and whatever you have in there will most likely mask whatever else and that will work also. Tip number three, you could go ahead and start your preserving process and what we do is freeze our food whatever it is that um, we're not canning we put it in the freezer now most people go out and spend money on um, these vacuum sealed gadgets and that's fine if anybody want to send me one to test out I'll be glad to do a review on it but until then, what you can do is get a Ziploc bag. As you can see, this is not even a name brand one, but I do try to use the better ones whenever I'm storing food. And by the way, this is my bell pepper, and it's looking like it's looking because I cut it the same time as I did the, the okra. <laughs> and was trying to hold on to it for a video. Um, we've got our tomatoes here and we've got some habanero peppers because my husband and I, we really love heat in our food. So what you can do is take a straw about this size. Uh, yeah, or maybe one of those little coffee stirring, stirring straws. And we're gonna put that in the bag before we do that, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you, you can take, put your tomatoes in there or whatever it is that you're canning. And of course, for this size tomato, it looks like I would need about a quart size bag. But if for instance, I were doing the, the if I were doing the okra, then this size should be fine. But to get the air out of it, just simply stick your straw in there. Go ahead and ziplock that bag as much as you you can up to the point of your straw. Now, this is again for fruit that are coming on that you you're you're not quite ready for a full harvest, and you're probably if you feel like hey that's not something I want to be doing for 20 bags of tomatoes. Well, again, this is just for those fruit that you just 
quite don't know what to do with, but you don't want them to go bad. Once you get that sealed, you're going to just simply suck the air out of this bag. Voila. So, I have sealed this bag, taken the air out of it, and it's ready to actually go into the freezer. Because if I were going to use them on a sandwich or something like that, of course, I would just go ahead and store them in the refrigerator and the uh, humidity se humidified section at the bottom. But if I were going to freeze them, I would go ahead and store them like this. And then the, the, the great thing also about storing your tomatoes like this in the freezer, once you've washed them and dried them, you'll notice when you get ready to prepare them, you can actually peel the skin right off. Because once you take vegetables or fruit out of the freezer, you'll notice that the texture has totally changed. And normally the skin is a lot easier to remove than it would be if um, you were just trying to remove the skin while the vegetable or the fruit was fresh. So, okay. So, again, tip number one, go ahead and eat it. Tip number two, throw it in a smoothie, put it in a salad. Tip number three, go ahead and freeze it. Go ahead and freeze it and start your preserving process. You can always open that bag right back up, throw in your um, your harvest as it comes along if you're not getting a big enough harvest to go ahead and put it in one big bag and you're done. Your fruits, your vegetables are preserved and ready to go. So stay tuned for the next video that will show you how to make a meal out of our small beginnings. We're going to be making okra, tomatoes, with bell pepper, and a little bit of heat. Okay? And that will be coming up next. Thanks for watching.